Hello, I'm Luke Ford from the website uh, lukeford.net and on my site I have interviews with about uh, more than 20 writers of uh, Jewish fiction and among the more interesting people I interviewed was Lisa Albert who's published a book of uh, short stories and uh, she also has an essay in the Modern Jewish Girl's Guide to Guilt and uh, we had quite a clash following our interview July 6, 2006. Uh, she didn't like it when I quoted from the New York Times wedding announcement. She later got divorced. Uh, wedding announcement was easily available online. It was in the top ten uh, uh, results in her name on, on Google. And uh, and she uh, she took very uh, very strong exception. It's pretty inappropriate to post the text of and link to my actual New York Times wedding announcement. I'm not sure what your motive is there. Does it deepen in any any understanding of my writing? Blurring the line between a writer's personal life and their work does a disservice to all. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we I exchanged an email and said, uh, you know, the wedding announcement you made it the whole template of your essay in uh, Jewish Woman's Guide to Guilt. So it's an obvious journalistic choice. It's one of the first results of your name in Google. As for blurring the line, you've written many autobiographical essays. This is a line you blurred long ago. And uh, Elisa responds, First of all, my essay in the Modern Jewish Girl's Guide to Guilt is a piece of narrative nonfiction, not journalism. There is a significant difference, and one I would hope a professional writer would understand intimately. Out of respect for him, I changed my ex-husband's name to Jonathan, that essay. If one wishes to Google me, of course, one quite easily finds that wedding announcement, which contains multiple details about not only my parents and myself, but also my ex-in-laws. But I'm still unclear on what it has to do with your interviewing me on my debut collection of short stories. Surely I don't need to get into the definition of short story versus essay versus journalism getting a rather unpleasant sense you might be aiming for some sort of tempest in a teapot here. I do hope I'm mistaken. And uh, we go back and forth. I'm Luke Ford, LukeFord.net.